Hello YouTube and all the ships at sea. This is my thoughts on the God of Thunder and Rock and Roll. Raiden. Took way too long to get this figure. But honestly, I finally got a chance to open him up today. And he is stellar. This is a really, really great figure. And I'm very, very happy to get him. Um, firstly, I'd like to show off his uh, fatality effect, which is really awesome. And why I say it's really awesome is because it's actually easy to do. A lot of these figures, um, I made a joke about the Sub-Zero one. It's difficult for someone to do um, who's not completely familiar with it or um, does have problems with their hands like I do. I've worked factories for 10 years now, so over 10 years, so my hands do not exactly work very well. Um, but I really like that his fatality effect is very easy to put on. I do have one major problem though, and that's why I have Sub-Zero over here. Sub-Zero over here because he's the one that's featured on the box. I'm going to show you this real quick. I'm trying to debate on whether or not to... Uh... But anyway, you can take the uh, your Sub-Zero character off. Excuse me. Take the head of the Sub-Zero character off. And then you're supposed to be able to place this incredibly detailed... Stand, please. Can you just stand for a second? Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. It's incredibly detailed... Uh, but they, there's even a little bit of paint on the side. It's really, really nice. Really nice um, exploding head. My problem is, though, at least for mine, um, getting it to go on does not work very well. I was able to get past the tip to about here, and then it just didn't feel right. So I was kind of disappointed in that. These are... I'll admit these are expensive and I don't want to do anything that will stress them out. I did have an incident a couple years ago. Yeah, a couple years ago with a noob cybot when I was messing with the neck joint on that one. So I don't want to do anything that's going to harm it. Um, but this is really, really neat. And they even add, um, like you can tell the paint detail on the side. It's really, really nice. Excellent. Really cool. Um... I think in the future, after I get another shelf, I will have it display like this with um, either the Sub-Zero or Scorpion. Moving right along. Um, and these just, they pop in easily and they come out easy, which is awesome. The figure feels extremely solid. He's got his, um, this symbol, if you don't know what that means, it means um, Pringles potato chips. In Chinese. I don't know if you know that or not, but now you do. I'll pop that one off. Comes with these awesome... Comes with a huge amount of accessories, really. Come on now, get in there. Um, this I also really liked. Because like I said, sometimes it's hard to get all that extra stuff on there. And with this, I mean, lightning fingers already on. So, rock and roll with that. And then, I need to find the other... I mean, he comes with a huge amount of... Oh, wait, this is the wrong one. He comes with a huge amount of um, different hands. But which hand goes to... Well, we'll let's try this one. And it's the same thing with both. He's ambidextrous when it comes to this. No, that's the wrong one. Well, in any case... You've probably already seen a billion videos of this anyway. Mine just takes a whole lot longer. You can just slide this. You know, that's neat. Yeah, as soon as I hit the record button, now it doesn't want to work. Huh. Oh, it got locked into itself. Also, another lightning effect. So you have him standing with a huge lightning bolt. Uh, before I get into the alternative heads, which this guy comes... I mean, he... You actually do get your money's worth with this figure. And it also came with this, which I thought was another good value. Because this would be for your hand joints if something were to happen. Um, hats removable, obviously. And comes with 
three different heads, but at the same time, this is just so long here, I'm really scared that I'm going to break it off. But um, he has the uh, regal looking one, which I think is my favorite, and of course the angry. Ooh, I'm angry. And then the ah ah. What do you mean you didn't pay the water bill? Ah ah. Kind of head. So top this one on. But see, notice how long that is. Like I just feel if you spend a hundred dollars on a figure, you don't want anything to break. Maybe it's just me. Oh, another thing. If you were to remove this gi. He would basically have the Mortal Kombat 1 attire on also, which I, for whatever reason, thought was really cool. I don't think I'm going to try that anytime soon, but... Oh, and the hat is just perfect, the way it was shaped. I was really, really worried that it would be um, misshapen from the package, but it is not. Uh, Movability-wise, you can watch somebody else's video where they move them all over, but he just feels so soft. It's so nice. There are only